This sign is a symbol of pride. Not really. The pride you take in keeping Minnesota roadsides clean and litter free. Yeah, but any road outside of Minneapolis of isn't even occupied. Like you make Minnesota's Adopt a Highway program a successful example of public private cooperation. This must have been filmed on the 4th of July back when there's work. one day of the no Minnesota snow. Minnesota Department of Transportation is proud to erect this sign. You can't say erect! It tells others that your organization has made a long term commitment to keeping Minnesota beautiful. Ah, the frostbite false the chapter the of what's the matter, you fans? In addition to being alert to high speed traffic, you need to know what you might encounter in the ditches and what you should avoid. Yeah, that's actually Please commonplace stuff that you find on the roadside of Minnesota. Very important to us. The most important message when we're going out on the road. I think you might want to try that line again, lady. Is the traffic. It should be your number one preoccupation. Yeah, you gotta look out for speeding Zambonis. Those fuckers will knock you out. Standing traffic constantly. Don't walk for very long periods with your head down. You need to look up and see what's going around. Yeah, look around and smell the roses, jackass. And you need to while you're cleaning them up. Away from the roadway as possible. So are they hunting or are they cleaning up? Or maybe they're just picking up this stuff to bait day, deer. So wear your work clothes. Choose blue jeans or other sturdy work pants, and long sleeves will protect you from scratches and sunburn. In other words, dress like you're Your going to a Thief River Falls wedding. To injury. Wear heavy gloves, preferably leather, for picking up I dirty like or the broken sound items. of broken glass. And wear your work boots, hiking boots, or heavy really? shoes. Really? I'm not going to make a boots joke. Or punctures. And don't forget no one to has that shit in Minnesota. To protect you from the sun. Uh oh, Grandma's ready to go to the bingo game. Motorists. It's a good idea to bring along your sunglasses, sunscreen, and some insect repellent. It's Minnesota. The sun does not exist. Drinking water. It's very important to stay hydrated while you work. Why? There's a lake on the other side of that hill. Your orange safety vest. MnDOT requires it. In fact, you should put it on before you arrive. I think that's a little small for you, Bill. The purpose of the vest is so that motorists can uh, see Bill, you. have you ever put on a vest in your life? That you be able to see motorists, but it's critical that motorists see you. Not that they're going to pay attention your to you. The speed limit is 70. First aid kit and a cell phone. Everyone in your group should know the location of the nearest hospital and know how to get there in an emergency. Oh, and yeah. Make sure Definitely with the flip phone, you will get there. Date. Of course, you'll need to bring along a supply of trash bags. Your leader will get them ahead of time from your MnDOT contact. You <laughs> really call it MnDOT, huh? Schedule your pickup. That's up there with the PennDOT from Pennsylvania. If it looks like rain or fog. Choose another date. Nah, I'm the gonna do this in the fog, man. The roads are wet, I'm totally cool with it. Fog impedes their sight distance. Uh, they're Minnesota Don't drivers. Everything the impedes side, their sight distance. The chances of a crash. When you come out. I'm coming side. out, so you better get this party started. On the roadway. Use that only as a last resort. So if you can find an adjacent parking lot, um, some way to get off the road. You can't say get place, off. And then walk yourself. What's wrong with you? A a walk, You're a state trooper, and you represent road. Minnesota quite well, don't you know? The car parked. If you have to, take it one more step. Find a little used road. A field approach where you can go in. Yeah, you know, anywhere north of St. Cloud. Possibly on the side of the road if you have a large shoulder and get in as deep as you can and turn your flashers on. I'm pretty sure that'll get you a night in the pokey if you do that. Open, trunks open where you're putting debris or getting equipment out, and of course not your hood open. Whistle, that's what you do. It's best to carpool to the site. Oh, this here I thought they the were just going to take a Minnesota DUI the test. The best solution is to appoint a designated driver who can drop you now off. Now, why did they park in the middle of the highway? When you're done. Otherwise, find a place to park. Oh, yeah, the Andersons are here. Well, that means this party's going to be cranked to 11. I mean, look at his belt. Or a seldom used approach. If you must park on the shoulder, park to the far right of the white line. So your vehicle does Just not park out in the field. It's way. Minnesota. There's Always plenty of it. That isn't lake. Are working and turn on your warning lights. Never park on an interstate highway. If you ah, come center, on, you're no fun. For specific parking instructions. Now you're ready to pick. My There's nose. A simple way to keep your bag open while you work. Dude, you left Find a turd right make there. A stick that's one to two feet long and a couple of inches wide. Place the stick on the outside of your bag, 
a few inches from the top edge. All right, this is a level of fold magic the I am not prepared for. The outside. Then fold it again. You can now hold the bag by the stick to keep your bag open while you pick. Hold the stick Some while you pick. Are dangerous for pedestrians. Just do it. Don't Never be a try dick. try to retrieve litter that is lodged in bridges, on retaining walls, down in the at sewers, the of steep embankments, in open water, in Buffalo Bill's basement, or in places where you'd have to cross the highway to retrieve it. Always stay with your group. Stay in the ditch. It's where you belong. If you're in a group of five to six, than if you're working alone. Your group should work on one side of the road at a time. Whenever possible, face the oncoming traffic. So they know who they're killing. Always stay alert for traffic and never dart. Ah, uh, damn way. horseless carriages! Always never pissing me off. On the roadside, it creates a distraction to drivers. Yep, and that's horsing traffic. around. I can see the You'll steed right there. To the traffic and the job at hand, so leave your headsets at home. Oh my God! This is modern. That was an iPod. What do you need a drink for? This isn't the Mojave. It's Mankato. And handle them very carefully. Be alert for broken glass, sharp metal objects, and boards with exposed nails. Because that's a common thing you're going to see outside of Rochester. And injure someone. Yeah, that was a dissatisfied Meineke customer. Oh no. Adopt the highway volunteer. Larry, we need to talk about your mustache. Safety. If you come across hazardous waste, anything suspicious, or you are oh, I see something suspicious protruding out of your mustache there, Larry. Yeah, how about just avoiding this whole thing? Really, why do I want to be killed by someone in their stupid Firebird? Be very dangerous. Do not touch them. Labels do not necessarily correspond to the contents. Yeah, sometimes that can of paint thinner is actually uranium-235. its location by identifying the number on the nearest mile post. Then call Look out, he's breaking out the Nokia so he can play a bitchin' game of worm. Mark the location with a filled trash bag. If you see abandoned containers or other questionable Drink them! Always approach them from uphill and upwind. Not that you know which way that is. Waste, such as bandages or needles. If you and find the course, victim, set them on fire too. Objects with radioactive labels or homemade explosive devices. Be yeah, because you're gonna you find, find pipe bombs out on East Grand Forks roads. Other items you should avoid are gas cans, books, used oil, antifreeze, Vladimir Putin, batteries, fluorescent bulbs. Yeah, you'll never find them like that. Again, mark the location with a bag, note the nearest milepost number, and call MnDOT. Call in the men to fix your own problems. Never pick them up. If the animal is small, oh man, now this is a snuff dead. film. If the animal is large, call your MnDOT contact. Hello, MnDOT. I found a dead man. What do I do? If you come upon a pile of wood chips or compost, you can assume it is covering a dead deer. Just leave it alone. And nature will take care of Oh, it. I'm sure it will. She is a foul is mistress. Dangerous. If you come across any of the following items, do not touch How many them. times are you going to recycle this Contact shot? Mindot for removal. Yeah, don't touch the dandelions. They're deadly. Grills. The brass fittings may have turned blue or green. They are used to transport... But I'm blue. Dabba dee, abba da. Causing burns or severe respiratory damage. Pill residue. It's a pinkish putty-like substance. Don't pick up pills? Respirator. Man, you're taking away all my fun. Rubber gloves. Rubber hoses and clamps. Don't pick up a rubber, it's just gross. Pillow cases stained pink or red. What the Corning fuck? Or Pyrex containers with rubber hoses attached. Solvents of any kind. So what the hell can I pick up when I'm doing this shit? Meth waste, report them immediately to Mindot. Oh, that's just moonshine somebody left out. It's a sad fact that more and more adopters are finding containers of urine tossed onto the roadside. What's urine wrong with doing that? And should not be taken to a landfill. Therefore, you should not bag containers of urine or any other biological waste. Yeah, just drink it. It's fine. Them and notify a MnDOT representative. Place a filled bag next to the container to mark the location. To be honest, Your when you're traveling across Minnesota, you definitely just got to piss. Discharge of materials in the ditch. These illegal materials can include wastewater from industrial activities, sanitary sewer wastes, or liquid materials such as paint or oil that a Yeah, just Minnesota is gross and everyone system. just dumps shit everywhere. They don't if you care. Either standing or flowing water, 
with unusual odors, colors, or sheens on the water surface as you walk in the. Oh, distance. that's just the remains of the Please death note the bed. Of discharge, a description of the material, such as odor. Or Look, color. I got near this puddle and I got high shit. It. That's all I can say, bro. For further investigation, do not touch the material. Take any sample of the material or try to track it to an upstream Dip location. your finger in and lick it. This will keep you safe and ensure any evidence collected is handled properly. When your bags are full, place several of them together near the shoulder, but not on the shoulder. In if fact, just throw them out in the middle of the street. It's totally the fine. Bags. If it's too heavy to move, mark the location with a bag. So, really, all we're doing is just putting bags in certain locations and just saying, hey, there's shit here, please get it. are traveling 50 to 75 miles an hour. They are your prime focal point. Take them seriously, abide by all the precautions given to you here. And beware when the elks start getting in their Suburbans, man. They're fucking vindictive. Once again, wear proper work clothes and always wear your orange safety vest. Wear your Sunday Always best. Work in groups and watch for dangerous objects and situations. But none of you have friends, Avoid so fuck it. materials and call MnDOT to report anything questionable. Like everything on the side of the road, apparently. Proud of you and of all our Adopt a Highway volunteers. Thank you, and remember to think safety first. You know, this is everybody who lives in Bemidji.